Okay, I have a question about working memory. Um, the uh, short-term memory, long-term memory is fine for this friend of mine. However, his yeah. working memory is weak. Okay, H how old? How old is he? About 61. Mm -hmm. Okay, still a young guy. Um, and uh, it, do we know, is he sleeping okay and all that or? He has sleep apnea. Okay. And so um, I'm not sure if he's using his sleep apnea device or. Yeah, those things are, are, are Let's no, no. just assume he's not because like those things are so uh, that's now he is a post polio uh he has post polio syndrome um and oh, had been on the ventilator when he was a kid or whatever they used anyway um he's also been exposed to covid and i was just wondering because of how COVID enters the body, if that could have impacted his brain. Yeah, I, I mean, the the issue would be uh, lymphatic stimulation or, or uh, stagnation, I should say. Um, that, that is one potential, but um, also um, it, it could just be that some of the body processes just aren't functioning like they should. So th this is what I would do. Like we could make it kind of complicated and say, do this and that, but I, I'd say, let's start simple. Let's start really simple with this person. Like let's have him do inhalation with some form of cinnamon, like cinnamon or cassia or something like that. Okay. Um, even the even the Abra melon, but I'd stick just like plain cinnamon, if you could, cinnamon or cassia. And like in the mornings, in you could even have him do it again in the afternoon. Don't have him put it on the skin. Just have him do like long, slow, deep breaths, like maybe 20, 25 times, and then call it good. And then maybe a little later in the day and do it. And then have him do that every day for a little bit. And so this does a couple of things. For, so for one, it jumpstarts all the body's processes. It strengthens the body for um, uh, like viruses, colds, flus, like that. It does jumpstart some of the, um, the digestive processes and it does help stimulate circulation and it is very fortifying to the brain. And so it, it hits a lot of the things that we would want to hit and it keeps it really simple for him. If he'd like, he could also in the morning put a couple of drops in water and, and take, take it internally. But I would, I would even just start with him inhaling it and see how that does. If, if that is um, not producing a good enough result, then I would say we probably need to do a little bit of um, lymphatic work on, on him and just de, like decongest the lymphatic system a little bit. And that would be the next step. It would be a little bit more involved, mm -hmm. but um, I, I would still start with the cinnamon first. I, I think it could be something actually just quite simple. Well, he also has congestion uh, in his esophagus and the upper lobes of his lungs. Um, yeah, I, that that makes me like the cinnamon even more. Like okay, you know, it wouldn't good. be my first choice for treating that, but it's still, you know, the thing with cinnamon is it also is a respiratory stimulant. Like yeah. it makes the respiratory system function better, and it does break up some of the mucus, but it also increases blood flow to the mucous membranes, mm -hmm. including his eyes, the mucous membranes of his nose, the you know the respiratory tract, the lungs, and um, you know, it just helps make everything a little bit more fluid. And um, I, I, I still like that. I like mm -hmm. that approach for him. You know, if okay. he wants to breathe it more than, than 25 times, a couple of times a day, he could. I'd just say maybe lay off of it like at night. But okay. if he wants to inhale it more during the day, he, you know, he can totally do that. Okay. Um, if it's just not resolving anything in about three days or so, then email us and we'll, we'll put something else in motion. Okay. Um, I, th I think that should be enough. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank so you so much. much. Yes. Thank you. 
And then we have Laura and Troy and a few questions. In the yeah, how about we'll do, we'll switch over to the other one and um, we'll still do our process, but we'll still answer a couple more questions on. Uh, so we need to switch to the other Zoom, but um, if you guys follow us over, I'll still get Laura and Troy and a couple questions and then we'll do a little practice.